Joanne, David Gorsica freely admits that Dr. Jack Kevorkian was definitely his most fascinating and his most complex defendant. Now, by the time their paths crossed, though, Dr. Jack had already been acquitted in Wayne County, primarily because there wasn't a law on the books against assisted suicide. Gorsica was savvy enough not to go down that road prematurely. Second, he injected Thomas Yow. Ultimately, what I was telling, and although he's still participating, I was telling the legislature, until you do something, I'm not. Uh, you know, he's been acquitted several times on this common law theory, and I said when I ran, I'm not going to waste taxpayer time or money trying to pursue a uh, conviction on a common law. So you, the legislature, you, you pass the law. You either make it legal or make it illegal. And if you make it illegal, which ultimately Governor Engler pushed through a bill, made it a five-year felony, then I have an obligation to enforce it. I got your conviction. Right. And, it, and uh, not often, if ever, do you have a crime where it's all video recorded. Uh, it was basically a videotaped confession uh, um, of the crime. And our, you know, our trial really wasn't that complicated. We had a couple of witnesses, responding police officer, the medical examiner. And I think we played the videotape, and that was really it. Of course, after that, Dr. Jack spent eight years in prison, was finally paroled. Gorsica also admits that Kevorkian put him on the international stage. He admired Kevorkian for his convictions, but he also says if, and this is a big if, if Dr. Jack knew how ill he was, then he feels it was somewhat hypocritical for him not to employ assisted suicide to end his own death. Reporting live from Royal Oak, I'm Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News.